I'm actually having issues streaming the beta right now for some reason. I'm not really sure what it is, uh, but OBS keeps crashing. I do need to update my o OBS software. That's the you know open broadcaster software that I use. Um, so for the time being, we're going to stick to um, live servers and just see what else we can do. But I seem to be having issues getting the beta streaming back up. So I'm sorry about that. Okay, so we are back to this then, which means I'm just going to queue up for more, uh, more variety of nonsense. <laughs> oh wait, I should not actually tank for those. What am I doing? Wrong buttons. It's not what we want to do. I want to tank for stuff like this and stuff like this that I can actually tank because I'm actually a high enough eye level for tanking. Okay, so anyway, we are back. I'm going to throw out another uh, just quick shout out on Twitter too, as long as we're in queue for things. So now, as long as we're running in circles here, rampaging yak. That was large. Okay. Let's queue up for a couple more of these. Might as well. Ones I haven't actually done yet. Vault of Mysteries. Haven't done that on yet this week. Such free valor, though. They've gotten so fast, too, that it's actually pretty easy. But these later ones, I'm not comfortable tanking just yet. I'm not actually high enough of a tank. Okay. So in the meantime, when we're running around for bulls, I'm going to see what I can go kill around here. <laughs> What's my Valor looking like this week? Oh, cool. Have still a couple more things I should actually probably go ahead and upgrade. Some of this stuff, yeah. You can go battle stance for now, too. <laughs> Yeah, and it's, it's a shame that beta streaming isn't working out for some reason right now. I'm going to figure out what the cause of that is, and then hopefully I'll be streaming more in the future. I know I haven't been streaming as much as I'd like to recently, and it's really um, a pain. I'd, I'd kind of like to get back to doing it a lot more often, as, as well as YouTube videos. I don't know how many of you have seen those. If you're uh, watching this, you, you might have. And I've really enjoyed making those in the past, and I would like to get back to making them. But the summer class I was having was just kind of making it um, not wholly feasible. I may honestly end up having more time during the actual full semester when I'm taking a full class load than when I was just taking one course. So we will see what happens. So I want to get back to, to more videos. It's fun to make videos. It's really great that people appreciate them and I've heard, heard uh, good feedback on them too. Hmm. These guys are taking a while now. 
I think I might go ahead and drop out of one of these and then queue up for Dungeon Finder. Yeah, have to drop one. Okay, here we go. Come on, healer, accept the queue. Healer's not gonna accept that queue, I don't think. <laughs> yeah. At least I've got instant queues, because I'm queuing as, as tank. <laughs> oh, there we go. Pulled right out of the middle of conf uh, conflict. Words, they're eluding me today. Start pulling, might as well. I don't think the healer is actually here yet in the group, but it doesn't matter. Kill stuff. Why are you on my head? Get off of my head, monster. <laughs> oh, so um, I don't know how well you guys can actually see it behind me, but check out my awesome new bookshelf that, that I put together and then um, decorated with all sorts of things. I'm proud of it. Feeling actually kind of proud that I have like a backdrop now that's interesting besides just being a plain white wall. <laughs> oh, I just had a fuel leak. Oops. Run in here, heal myself. There, we're good. I'm wondering if the updated version in Warlords of Drainer of the turbo boost, because they're getting... They're being modified to function the exact same way as the Alchemist Potion for uh, speed. A Swiftness Potion. They're going to be identical to the Swiftness Potion. So um, I'm wondering if they're not going to malfunction anymore in World of the Drainer, which would kind of be nice. I mean, so they've got to nerf their actual uh, run speed that it gives you, but I wouldn't mind if it also means they're consistent and won't accidentally make me explode when I use it. Takes a little of the fun out, though. That Pikachu draws the attention, says Vanity. Yes. I, I like the Pikachu. He actually, um, he has light-up cheeks, because you can hold his, uh, little hand, and it's a button. And then he, he makes sounds and lights up. I actually, I need to put, uh, batteries in him still, I think, right now, because I don't know if he has batteries in. But he's really cool. I'm really proud of that Pikachu. <laughs> There's so many little Pokemons, too, that you might not be able to see that are all just kind of up there and all over the shelf. I have so many Pokemon toys, and I was going through some of my older older things that I just had in the closet uh, back at my parents' house and trying to pick out things I wanted to decorate because I, I was getting a bookshelf and I wanted to throw more things onto it, and I didn't have all of my little figurines. So, um, yeah, I, I went through and I'm like, I can't believe I even have all this stuff. There's a Bowser up there, too, that I seriously didn't even know I owned, which I just found somewhere hiding in my closet. I'm like, oh, cool, Bowser! Such is, such is nerd life sometimes, I suppose. <laughs> Must have got him, like, ages ago. I also have on those shelves there, I've got a uh, Kirby virtual pet toy. He's really cool. He also functions functions as an alarm clock, which is a, just a odd combination. He's a virtual pet and alarm clock, but it's cool. I've got um, a talking Pokedex, which works with those old, uh, that old semi-digital microchip Coliseum toy that they had for a while that was so popular. It was really awesome. 
<laughs> just take my money now. No, it's mine. <laughs> no one can have it. I don't know if you can actually even buy those anymore. You can probably find them somewhere on, like, you know, Amazon and whatnot. I've also got, you really can't see it, but the yellow thing by my, like, I guess, left ear or whatever. That's Pikachu, except he's all totally swagged up. He has, like, one of, uh, he has Kirby's fire copy ability hat on, and uh, a necklace that actually, uh, or a bracelet, rather, that actually a fan of mine made me. Um, yeah, he's totally swagged up and totally just blinged out. He's, like, the most gangster Pikachu. <laughs> I like how this guy's already dead, and we're just waiting for him to land and then perform his death animation. Like that. Now he's dead. <laughs> that was fast. Kill all of them. Okay, I think they're, they're dealt with. Just basically pull everything on the bridge. Except for the boss. Don't like pulling the boss with all the trash. Just too much for no reason. AoE caps exist anyway. Most of my AoE is in the meat cleave earth thing, so can't actually deal more damage always up to a certain point when there's more enemies. Besides whirlwind, of course, which is substantial. Viscous fluid. More viscous fluid. And he's dead. <laughs> okay, so now we are on to the last boss who's kind of like a less scary version of Garland, who we just killed in that raid. A much less scary version. He's kind of lame, honestly. Oh wait, my, my cape isn't up yet. I should really be careful before I jump off a, cl a cliff and try and use my parachute cloak. A gob goblin glider deal. It was close. There we go. And we're down. Let the healer heal people for a moment. It's their job. Can I jump up on this too? Yay! Kill the weak spot. And then his armor will be shattered now. Broken carapace. This makes the game look so much cooler. I wonder how much content I could actually do without my interface. <laughs> Probably could do a lot. Don't have a queue yet for Raid Finder. I know it gets paused when you're in one of these, but sometimes if you're queuing tank, you kind of just get it to pop right after you're done. I'm actually up to 11k. When did that happen? <laughs> I suddenly have money. 
That's at least money for me. I realize some people are probably like, yeah, that's not very much money. Silly death adder. You're not very deadly at all. Okay. Yay, we got the cue. And we are in Scolomancy. I think we have threat now. I'll just switch. This is like probably the easiest dungeon to DPS tank to. You could probably have done this like when it was current content. I can never die unless, of course, you kill my soul floor tree, which we are because it's right here and you didn't hide it somewhere safe because you're a horrible, horrible lich. This cannot be! How did you defeat my soul crystal that was hiding in plain sight? <laughs> okay, for the record, Lich 101, if you ever find yourself a lich, I highly recommend that you do not place your soul phylactery, like, right next to you. You should probably put it somewhere safe that's not near the adventurers who might try to kill you. That way, when the adventurers kill your body and your soul returns to the soul phylactery, you have all the time that you need to resurrect and, and retake a corporeal form, corporeal form, you know? Apparently liches just never think of that one. Maybe that's just because I'm used to playing like a Scion and stuff in Dungeons and Dragons. And they have a uh, soul phylactery styled ability that they can do. Ooh, we have five DPS now, basically. Because we really, really don't need the other DPS. Because he can just do the off heals, any um, off healing DPS that we need. This will be wonderful. Defeat all of the illusions and find the real one. There we go. Yeah, that was fast. I'm liking this group. This group knows what they're doing. <laughs> Yeah, this goes so much smoother when everyone's a DPS. There's really no reason to have, have like, heavy healers anymore anyway. I'm gonna try to recruit Q with this group. They're doing okay. They're not necessarily great DPS, but they're DPS at least. <laughs> that soul man was hard to find. <laughs> yeah. Come on! There we go. Get my bone armor, keep that on.
Boom. We're done. Now we're in the little shop of horrors part. <laughs> then we get to do the other boss that's so much fun because you can skip it if you do high enough DPS. Which I was always doing um, back when it was current with just time warp and stuff, but yeah. Cause Fur Fury Warrior burst is insane at the start of a fight. Clear these guys out, and we're good to go. Okay. Switch into battle stance here. And we'll get ready to charge. Charge, use all my cooldowns, blow it up, it'll be funny. She exploded a lot. <laughs> the bones, you wretch! He's just not as intimidating as I think he wants to be. Leave me, please, to die alone. We're already in the next room. We're not we're not caring about this. Sorry. Sorry, Lillian Voss. <laughs> Um, I need to wait for my Dragon Roar to come up here and get threat. There we go. Got a lockbox. I'll have to try to open that later. I do have dynamite because I'm an engineer. Because this guy's a monk, right? Okay. Otherwise, I just throw it in his inventory and be like, open this for me. Reflect your incinerate because it's funny. <laughs> I'm bursting like 500k DPS there. Just even on the recount, which means it was actually way, way higher than that. That's funny. Yeah, that was fast. The Veil of Eternal Sorrows as DPS. Wonderful. I want to play as DPS finally. <laughs> Hooray for actually doing something in my DPS spec. That's like, you know, not being used to tank. No! Someone declined an invite? Oh good, we're back. Good. Come on. Everyone accept it. Looks like both tanks did and most of the DPS did, so this one should go through. Good to, good to go. Ditch the silly costume.
And we are in an actual instance. The pools of power are merciless. Have done this guy in a while. This boss is so easy too. Yeah, not actually very much to offer for any of these bosses, but it's still fun. Jump off the cliff and use my goblin glider. Fun. I believe I can fly. Or at least fall with style. Yeah, that's what it is. I'm not goblin gliders. You're, you're not flying. You're falling with style. Wonder if people will actually throw buffs out again because I think I missed things. And top DPS, of course. There we go. Wow, that warrior tank though is kind of tearing up. That's cool. Hi, Andrew! Hello, Andrew, saying hi through means of, I'm gonna say it this time, Toffer Sorensen. Yes, I think, I, I think that's right. I think that's right this time. <laughs> For the Forsaken! Okay. Just go ahead and clear data on current fight, make sure things are running smoothly. Oh, and check this quest out, by the way. This is the uh, GM Island quest that got shared around and went viral a while back. So your, your goal is to slay 20 evil squirrels, except that it says 255 evil squirrels. So, quest's a little bit strange. Apparently, on GM Island, they kill squirrels. This is what GMs do all day. They either program, you see that the, the game developers program things where you are killing bunnies, because of course that is how the majority of World of Warcraft, you know, events actually progress, is killing bunny NPCs that then act as switches and keep the uh, content flowing. Who pulled? Are we pulling? I'm pulling. Okay, we're pulling. Let's go. Someone pulled, because people are silly. That resulted in a very poor opening for my part. Because people pulled early. It's a shame. Okay, so we avoid the bad water and we stand in the good healing rain water. Probably should actually save the heroic leaps on this fight and not use them for DPS because when the puddles come out, it's beneficial to be able to chase after them more. And I'm a fury warrior, so I can actually burst down things like puddles really well. Because of course, how this fight works, if you're not familiar with it, is you kill a Mersis and then he breaks up into a bunch of puddles then you have to kill the puddles. And the actual goal of the fight is to kill the little uh, fragments he breaks off into, not to kill a Merciless. And then as you kill those, he gets weaker and weaker and smaller and smaller until he dies. Also, he's using Swirl. I should probably go away from that. There we go, Split. Split is now occurring. Try and kill as many of these as possible. Yeah. I love being a warrior. You don't have very much in the way of ranged attacks, but instead you basically are a ranged attack. <laughs> it's 
you have gap closers like crazy, and you've got multiple charges, and heroic leaps, and intervenes. Yeah, it's fun. Throw recklessness back up. He's casting Swirl again, but it's going the other way, so it really doesn't affect me. Should do an all bunny dungeon, says Vanityus. <laughs> you know, um, one of my favorite ones, actually, I should uh, try to pull it up in my macros, because it's hilarious, but it's in uh, Karajan for the chess event. There was a, a it's just titled Karajan chess event, force player to kill bunnies. So, something to bear in mind is that due to the programming of World of Warcraft, we do in fact regularly kill and slaughter um, invisible bunny NPCs in World of Warcraft. So, although you may be, we may be heroes and we run around and you know we save, save the day and save lots of people, we're also slaughtering innocent bunnies on an extremely regular basis and sometimes being forced to kill them. Kinda of disturbing, really. The the programmers for World of Warcraft just have a sick sense of humor. Because for a lot of times, you know, in, in if you want to easily program something, you do use a a ghost NPC or a switch of some kind. So when that NPC then dies, you can program it so that another event takes place. So sometimes bunnies are the role of that and, and that's just what they chose. You can actually track a couple of them with various hunter um, tracking abilities, but most of them have managed to hide pretty well. Cover up their horrible misdeeds in killing bunny rabbits. Shaw Splash again, here we go. There's three bunch of black ones over here, I'll start here. Not bad. We are definitely getting there on this boss. Yeah, because now check out how low his HP is, too, and how low he starts, so. Much closer. Starting to swirl in that direction. And here is the split. Where are things going? Okay. I'll just kill these ones because I'm over here and it doesn't seem like anyone else is. Why did he blade storm like that? That was silly. Total waste. Heal myself up here quick. Yeah, he's like already in execute range now every time he reforms. That's why this this fight's kind of funny, because it just feels like shorter and shorter as you keep going. <laughs> then you just gotta kill all the last little remainders. another one there, get that one, and get that one. Yay for charges and heroic leaps and dragon roars and all of that. Is he dead yet? Did we kill him? Nope. Yes, yes we did! Hooray! He is down. But for some reason we're still getting deadly boss mod things, that's awkward.
Bunnies are the bane of existence, says Vanity S. They're multiplying to dominate WoW. The GMs already know the future. <laughs> and that's why they're they're preemptively trying to slaughter the bunnies on GM Island. You're right. It all makes sense now. It just all makes sense now. <laughs> They're, they're completely through with being used as programming switches, and they, they will just put up with it no longer. They must overthrow the system for the sake of bunnies everywhere. Can we mount out here, right? Can we? No. Oh, can down here. There we go. Yay! Finally get to sell things. I wonder if I can just like throw this in this rogue's trade box and just see what happens. Nope. Just be like, rogue, I love you. I love rogues. Could you please unlock this? This is a fun fight, too. It's a very single target, which is enjoyable for my class, too. Because I have AoE. I just prefer to stick on one target with Colossus Smash and whatnot. Set their souls free. Hooray, look, it's a tank. We got a tank. I'm gonna go ahead and actually drink up a flask, because I might as well if I can find my flasks. Right there, okay. Winter's Bite. I need to make more of these. Have lots of amounts of harmony, and I'm an alchemist, so I can actually just go ahead and buy the stuff for it. Looks like everyone is ready. Mists of Pindaria was a prequel to Mist of Bunaria, says Vanityus. <laughs> yes. Yes, because because they didn't think that pandas were cute and adorable enough, so now we need a, a race of evil bunnies, as proved by Clayton's quest. So we will be slaughtering bunnies, and that will be our job. Oh, we're pulling in 10 seconds. Okay. I should stop messing around playing on the druid. Four, three, two, one, go. Pull now. Go, go, go. 
bursting. Need more rage. Because doing 30% of the group's DPS isn't enough. Who are we attacking now? Still on that target? Shouldn't we switch? <laughs> I'm gonna switch. Besides, if this guy's attacking me, there's worse things that could happen. I can just go Berserker's Dance. Yeah, attack me, go ahead. Shaw Sear me. It's good. More rage. <laughs> Embodied sorrow needs to die though. Basically that you want all these bosses to go down relatively at the same time. Nicole Fire Kitty asks, how long has this stream been going? I think we've been going for about an hour and half-ish or something now. I might call it um, at the end of this raid. We'll see how long this ends up taking. But I'm enjoying doing this. It's something I haven't done in a while. I, I plan to be doing a lot more of it. Um, you know, or at the very least, just when I'm playing video games, I might as well just be streaming it. Even if I don't announce it or make a big deal out of it uh, beforehand, I mean, uh, if I'm on WoW, I might as well be streaming it too because it gives me a chance to get to interact with all of you guys, which is always just so much fun. Vanatea says, Karate Pandas versus Samurai Bunnies. You know, I, I really wouldn't put it past Blizzard to actually do that, but I think we can look forward to a more serious expansion this time around. The uh, new expansion should be quite a bit more serious. I'd, I, I mean, I'm sure you've seen the trailers. Uh, I'm actually, I should throw that on my Facebook, actually. Because uh, it's a really cool trailer, everyone should see it. If you're not interested in the game, it's actually amazing animation. Like the quality of the animation on those orcs that they did. Like they have um, they have little like peach fuzz hair practically. It's it's like, wow. Computer animation has come a very long way. And the Blizzard art team is is phenomenal. They're among the best in that style of, of CGI. So it's pretty cool. Okay, focus on Rook here for a moment. As long as I have the Colossus smash up on him. And let's switch. Body Anguish needs to go down. Charged into Sun Tenderfoot though on the way. Got a couple hits on. It's all good. Okay keep cleaning stuff up here. Embodied Misery, let's get that guy down.
And Embodied Sorrow is executed. Charge into Sun Tenderfoot. Probably need to actually slow DPS on her though. I'm going to switch out the Plaza Smash. Whoa. Camera did something crazy. What's going on? Camera exploded. <laughs> My camera is is not behaving. Alright. On to he sender. Ah! He soft foot. Burn him down to the same level as everyone else. Or we could actually wipe, so we'll have to avoid that. Heroic leap there, get the AoE damage going. Whirlwind, raging blow meat cleaver. the embodied anguish before it can do any damage. Got a nice intervene up on this Mutlix person before he got killed, too. 20% damage production does a lot. Alright, we still gotta be on he right now, it looks like. But they're all coming down pretty evenly right now, so that's that's actually pretty good. So he is, he is well into execute range. <laughs> I just gotta try to bring him down evenly. Switch onto Sun Tenderfoot before her HP moves out. And these are good to go. Wonderful. Fantastic. Cleared that fight well. And more free gold. I like free gold. Next boss is the uh, Pride Cleanser boss person. Yeah, what you call him? Uh, Nourishan. Nourishan? Yeah, Nourishan. There we go. And then it, this raid culminates with the Shah of Pride. This wing of the raid, at least, of course. The raid obviously culminates with Garrosh Hellscream himself. Which, I'm really hoping that in World of the Drainer, we don't have to fight Garrosh Hellscream more. Because I think it's sort of overkill. You know? They've, they've already said that he like won't be the endgame raid boss, but I'm like, will he be a raid boss at all? Kind of seems a little bit... A little redundant to have so much Garrosh Hellscream. When we've had him now for like the last year, and it's been everything. I'm sure that Gul'dan is going to be one of them, but it seems like he might actually be coming good. 
the whole storyline and the alternate history kind of thing is is really crazy and really weird. So I think Gul'dan's actually going to be like a good guy this time around, basically. Versus being one of the baddest orcs in history. <laughs> Not sure where to stand for this AoE because we're having height differential. It's just confusing. It's like, do I stand on the cliff and then use my AoE? Because warrior AoE com is comprised um, largely of the whirlwind attack, which um, of course does a aura around you, so it's not like a targeted thing. And then you use your meat cleaver, which is targeted. I'm glad that Meat Cleaver is still going to be around in Warlords of Draenor. For a while, they they nixed it in the beta build, and it, lit, it left Warrior AoE basically just being spam Whirlwind again and again and again and again, which was kind of stupid. <laughs> when we had actually a unique AoE ability, because it's, it's kind of unlike anything else in the game, and it was really cool, and then they got rid of it, so it was kind of strange. I'm glad that they have changed their mind on it. Don't want to run too far ahead, but don't look the same thing here. Yeah, there isn't. We're good. <laughs> How did he actually, like, get here? Because cause we come here, and he came through that door? Is that, that what we're led to believe? He's just already here. He's like a freaking ninja. He's like he's like Sheik in Legend of Zelda where she just beats you to the end of everything. <laughs> the heart chamber. Ooh. Purify the corruption within your selves. Here we go. Combat starts. The combat timer. Okay, where'd it go? Where'd my timer go? That's annoying. Darn it. Okay, here we go. Burst this guy down. Everything I have at the start. Okay, I'm in the pride world. 
go ahead and kill these. The more of these you can kill, the more damage you can then do later too, so. This also protects people dramatically. Okay. Let's burn down the essences of corruption. It's got to do the ads here. There's also a death laser. Should avoid that. <laughs> death lasers are generally good things to avoid. Typically as a rule. Yep, moving from the death laser before it reaches me. <laughs> Let's get back on ads here. Burn these down. are handled for the time being. One left range is going to kill that. Manifestation of corruption soon. Here's the manifestation. Burn it down. And it's down. Their ad came up, but I should use the rest of the class to smash it. Just put on the boss. There we go. Now I move to ads. Love how mobile you are as a warrior. You can just charge around so well. It's the reason I've always stuck just the warrior as my primary class is just because it feels like right. Ooh, death laser. I'm trying to kill the thing. Station. Get the essence of corruption here, too. As long as we stay on ads and we're actually doing ads, we're fine. Because our DPS is um, low, but it's competent for the fight. Let's pop recklessness. Here, corruption. Okay, good. And 
And this is going down easy. We've just lusted. We are now basically into the burn phase. Because there is execute right now. Or er, that was my proc execute, wasn't it? Now it's actual execute phase. There we go. Should not let ads get out of control though. Hope people don't tunnel vision. And look at this, I wasn't expecting that. I might actually end the fight in here if I'm not really fast. <laughs> Stop turning! <laughs> 